braided bread of sort that has a cream cheese filling and some raspberry jam. And we're gonna start off with our bread recipe for this one's a little different. So it's, it's more of a sweet dough. So it's gonna be a little different than the basic, but still super simple. So we have a quarter cup of very warm water, four tablespoons of softened butter, Plop that down there. And this one actually is, um, let me check it again, half a cup of very warm milk. You want to heat your milk to just warm. You don't really want to, you want to make sure it doesn't simmer or anything like that because that would be too hot. And then actually I have about two teaspoons of vanilla extract. This is a great bread for the Easter holiday coming up. You can actually make these the day before. Go ahead and bake them. Take them out of the oven about five minutes before they're ready. And then the next morning, after you can refrigerate them at night, and the next morning you can just get up and pop them in the oven for like five minutes or maybe five to ten minutes, and it's delicious. So I have an egg that's slightly beaten, just one egg. One and one-fourth teaspoon of salt. Okay, pull the stick on me. A quarter cup or one-fourth a cup of, of organic sugar. And now it's about three cups of flour, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the three cups, and then we'll look at the dough and see if we need to make any adjustments. I'm actually using whole wheat flour, so this is my... Um, version of this recipe. Typically, you can use all-purpose flour for this. Um, I'll use just a little less than three cups to begin with because the whole wheat flour is um, more absorbent because of the fiber. So we've got almost three cups there. And then we just have our tablespoon of yeast in a dry area here on top of the flour, not touching the liquid. We're just gonna pop this top on and turn on speed one. <laughs> look at it because we may or may not need any more flour. The butter is softened so it has to take just a minute to incorporate. I'm going to need just a little more. I'm going to go with a half a cup. Yeah. And let that start working. And it's still pretty, pretty damp so we're just going to give a little bit more here. Still waiting on that butter to do its thing so it's incorporating now. typical yeast bread because sugar um, helps yeast activate but uh, too much sugar or more than normal um, in a recipe makes it a little denser so this is a sweet bread but <clears throat> I'm actually going to put this in a bowl that I've just lightly sprayed and I'm just going to turn it around in here and get it kind of old or greased up there and I'm going to leave this in this bowl just lightly covered with a loose fitting lid for 20 minutes while I work on the filling. Okay, so while we have the dough resting for 20 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and make the filling. So I have one block of cream cheese, softened, half a cup of organic sugar, one egg beaten, three tablespoons of flour, all purpose. This is just helps thicken that filling a little bit. And then two teaspoons of vanilla. And we just whisk that together to make our filling.
get it really smooth, you just set the thing on the side until you shake the dough. Okay, so I've divided the dough that was resting. It was only there for about 20 minutes, so we weren't expecting a rise out of it really, just that the dough could rest so it could be pliable and just let the yeast work for just a few minutes. The rise time will come after we put the filling in. Now, I have done this before and tried to do it on the countertop as was suggested in another recipe and it was almost a disaster. So go ahead and spray the pan that you plan on baking this in really liberally with some nonstick spray. And then we're actually going to shape it right on the pan. That way you don't have to transfer it once you have the filling in it because that gets kind of messy. So we're just making a long rectangle. I'm going to try to spread it out pretty good. We don't want the dough real thick. It should kind of be more like a pastry than an actual bread dough. So you want it kind of thin. So we're going to just continue that. You want it to be pretty much the same size across because once you put the filling in, you're going to need to be able to make some cuts along that. So just about that big. And then we're going to put some of our filling. Now you're only going to put the filling about an inch down. You want to start there. And you're going to spread this out just through the center because we're actually going to make slits along the side and do our braid. So we don't want the filling to cover the whole thing. So just a general covering down the center there. You might actually have a little more filling left if you wanna do another one of these later in the week. Okay, so it's not too much there because you don't want it to all ooze out of the sides when you bake it. And then I'm actually going to put some raspberry jam. I have some organic raspberry jam here just for color and a little flavor. It's really pretty when it's risen too. So um, again, this bread will puff more than it will inflate. So don't think it's just a different kind of sweet dough recipe. And again, when you're using more sugar or sweetener in a recipe, it actually kind of fights with the yeast a little bit. So you don't get huge rises, but the flavor is wonderful. So we just kind of swirled that in. And you can do this with just the cream cheese filling. You don't have to add any jam or you can do any flavor you want. So I'm actually going to take some little slits and just go about an inch wide-ish up through there with my pizza cutter. I'm a little close on the edge here. Let me grab a little knife for that part if you need to complete your cut there. Okay, and then we're just going to cut here. And if you have to, just take your knife and complete the cut. So we're gonna go on this side and just cut at an angle. We're gonna overlap these, so it doesn't have to be perfect. The dough is pretty forgiving because it is gonna puff some, so. And you can actually make these and go ahead and bake them the night before and just put them in the refrigerator overnight and you can warm them up the next day. So anything that's not cut, you can just come alongside with a knife there and cut your edges because we are working on the pan, so it's a little constricting. Okay, I'm just gonna lay those there. Now this part, you wanna just kind of take this part here and make sure that you're gonna tuck that in a little bit because it's gonna help everything not to ooze out of it. We're gonna do that on this end as well. And then we're gonna take our little cut and we're just gonna overlap these two, kind of seal them together because that's gonna be our, our end piece and you can kind of shape that. And now we're just gonna overlap these, just tear those apart into a braid here. Keep working all the way down the dough and then we're going to brush it with an egg yolk and some sugar that's like sparkling sugar. It's a pretty large crystal of sugar. So you just continue the braid, overlapping it all the way down. 
really not difficult at all. Okay, and keep working that out there. And you can peel that end back, push that end back if it came up like mine did there. And then we're just gonna keep overlapping. A pretty braid here at the bottom. And then I'm actually going to let this rise for probably about 45 minutes because it is a sweet bread. So I just want to shape that up because it was a little, mine was a little fat on that end. So we're just going to shape this up and then we're going to brush it and actually we're not going to brush it. We're going to brush it when we get finished. So I'm just going to let this rise for 45 minutes in a cold oven and then right before we bake it, we'll brush it with the sugar in the air. Okay, so this has puffed a little in the oven and remember, keep in mind, we're not looking for a big rise out of this because it's more like a pastry breakfast bread. But we're gonna do some, just a little bit of an egg wash. So it's just an egg yolk with a tablespoon of water to brush over the top of this. I'm just gonna give something for my uh, coarse sugar to stick to for the topping. Just makes it pretty and kind of gives a little extra sweetness when you bite into it. So you're just going to brush that and get everything moistened with that. And then I just have some uh, large sugar crystals so you can, uh, you can use fine sugar but the large ones make for a little prettier look and also the texture. So you just want to sprinkle a little bit on the top, cover that. Okay, so we're just gonna pop this in the oven. It's preheated to 350 degrees, and it's gonna bake about 35 to 40 minutes until it's browned. And here's the finished product. So you have a very thin, it's real crusty, it has the sugar on top there. And then sliced up, it has the little filling coming out of it. It does puff up quite a bit on the bottom. This one's a little thinner, so it'll be more like a almost like a biscotti with the filling in it, just not quite as hard. If you get a chance to make this, let me know how it goes.